Wacky Media Entertainment. Run it. Young people. So we'll talk about Aishana today. Aishana, man. I'm Mr. Terry. Aishana, you know, boring thing. You know. Alright. We're boring life, Abba. Aishana exclaimed and apologized and apologetically about our WAP remix. Friend said, Free, you can't name. I'm not ashamed. We could have never complained or a few of the bars I shall not spit on her fix. Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. When I heard the song, I felt it was only right that I jump on the track and do the refix. It's more than just the fact that it's a freaky song. I love that it's two women being confident and embracing their sexuality because it's, that's me. That's what I represent, she said. I wouldn't say I'm the queen for freaks, but I am the queen for people who are confident and comfortable with themselves and their sexuality. I represent for the people who are doing whatever the hell they want to because they're not have to answer to nobody. I your life. Do what you want to do. Pointing out that it anticipates the usual moral lashing the equal rights artists made it clear that anything me do, me embrace it. Me do nothing I hide it and nothing I shy away from it. So once I say I'm going to do something, I do it all the way. I never back out. If you're a freak, so watch your question. Life's supposed to, f life's supposed to festive. I mean, it's a festive queen, you know. So we're worrying life I got. Life is too short to be boring. You know, see how 2020 are going. <laughs> Aisha and I chant a bag of things and I defend herself. The people. I she exclaims, see, right now, she a represent. You see what I say? Yeah. <laughs> she say, you're a friend, you say, you're a freak. And that spell the first part of her name. So we're call up her name, people. Alright. Aisha and I told the star that there is always be a double standard in society. When it comes to one speaking openly about sexual acts they enjoy partaking. Men are allowed to say this and to and live their lives and women have to be put out in a little box. And we are not allowed to express ourselves and talk about the things that we like. Since the beginning with the song that I released, I'm all about empowering women, she said. I have always told them that, listen, we are allowed to be sexual and we are allowed to be express ourselves and we don't feel no way about it. She continued, We sing both when we feel to sing both and them naysayers need to get a voice and sing both when they want to sing both. Them no one here when me are sing both, girl not nah, change to please nobody. Never did then and I won't now. I shall not go on. I shall not nah, play. Still a step out and a different thing and she right now she confident and she don't want to hear what nobody have to say and she do her thing. Easy. When I live my life to prove to you what me have or not. I hear me right now, I live my life you now. I disturb my thing. Look more. From me as a freak, you call my name, me not nah, ashamed. Nah, me could have never complain, boy, money have to fall like rain. That's why I always fly like plane. Beat it up. Alright, I said nothing. Alright. Black. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Black. Black. You too. Black. She posted her what mix on her official Instagram page and gained more than 200,000 views in less than 24 hours. She was trending number one on Twitter and Sunday night. The chat caused so much, but that even gained Cardi B's attention. She reposted the chat in her stories on Monday with the caption Fire! Jamaica is too nasty. I shall have said that was a good look for, for dance and Jamaica and the music overall. I feel that the remix is making everyone have fun and that's what it's about at the end of the day, she said. Well, I shall have gone with a bag of things with people and right now she know what you know what nobody has to say. She know what you see what I say? But you don't know. I follow up on the news and I couldn't know what's popping, is it? Yeah. So now we have to talk about the US dollar currency in Jamaica. See, right now US dollar got 150 Jamaican dollar to one US. 
Yemi people, so Bank of Jamaica, Deputy Governor Wayne Robinson. The Jamaica dollar hit a new milestone on Wednesday at $150 to the US dollar. It's the lowest value ever. The higher the exchange rate, the lower the value of the local currency. And the higher the cost of doing business for Jamaican companies that buy inputs from overseas or foreign goods for local distribution. For Jamaican consumers, each time the cur currency depreciates, it means that they are likely to face higher prices for groceries and other retail goods and some service. So with them basically, I say like, each time the dollar go higher, each time the US dollar go higher, same price increase when we and we still not get no more pay. You see me because they must have to spend enough of money to buy what they want, so they have to try to sell it dearer with, 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 with the consumer now. Have to just pay dearer for the same value. So, yo, I just saw it come down, it come down now, so we feel it. You see what I say? So, uh, so, all right, Bank of Jamaica, BOJ, Deputy Governor for Research, Economic Programming and Financial Stability. Dr. Wayne Robinson said the depreciation in the exchange rate since the beginning of July was due to low, lower inflows of foreign currency and from earners. Coupled with the reduced capacity of authorized dealers, supply from dealers to customers from their own positions. He said that was notwithstanding higher than anticipated flows from remittances. As you are aware, Jamaica's major foreign exchange earn at the tourism sector was and can is to be severely impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, said this said Robinson in response to the Gleaner. Also, some dealers had significantly sold down their foreign currency position prior to July, and in a context where inflows are generally lower, they were not able to sustain this activity in July and August, he added. So, if they want to hide a big thing, the BOJ, the per Deputy Governor said that at the same time, demand for foreign currency remains substantial. Such demand has come from individuals and various sectors, such as telecommunication, distribution, manufacturing, construction, and energy to meet current and future operational needs. So, right now, they need all of them people if you are coming, they demand it high. So, the tourism sector and all of the people they will invest in all of them things there. Right now, the whole of them think they cut short and through the pandemic now, they are lose. So people are going to feel it. All right, he said that there are there was also some element of portfolio demand as individuals and entities seek to protect themselves against further depreciation. As to what action the BOJ has taken to the curb, the depreciation, Robinson said, as we have been communicating, Given the government's policy of a market determined exchange rate, Bank of Jamaica does not seek to defend any particular level of exchange rate. He added. Instead, we endeavor to ensure that the market functions eventually smoothly and in an orderly manner in allocating foreign exchange rate. So, they want things to run smooth. So, they must say they're not really respond for all of what's going on and they don't like say to go that way. They want it to run smooth. And they want everything for all right, so they don't want no blame. So, I say go. Mr. Robinson said that the developments in the foreign exchange market since August have been orderly, and the BOJ would intervene if that changed. He noted that the central bank sold seventy million dollar to the market via to the bank's foreign exchange intervention and trading tool. B fix it in July. And it continues to provide foreign currency to Petrojam Island's oil refinery, thereby taking out a large block of recurrent foreign exchange demand and from system. So, 70 million US dollars spent to deal with um, trading and intervention and a whole heap of things. And I'm still an invest. Robinson said that with a flexible exchange rate, the price of the US dollar will move based on the balance of supply and demand. In that context, 
he noted that even since the onset of COVID-19 in Jamaica and March this year, the exchange rate has been moving in both directions, reflecting the ebbs and flows in the market. As with all other tourism-dependent countries, Jamaica continues to experience a significant fallout in the foreign exchange flows into the economy. Notwithstanding the reopening of the travel sector, he said, remittance in flows for the January to April 2020 period declined by 1.2% when compared to the similar period in 2019. So, as I said, it declined 1.2% since last year to this year, February them time. Isn't that what I said? However, Robinson said that preliminary information shows a strong recovery in remittance inflow subsequently. It grew like to exceed 20% in May, June, July. Yeah, so dollars are rise, dollars are rise. Be a thing right now. Why oh, Jamaica people? Why well, pray for you change? So, I say, remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Big up on yourself. One love. I will come back with more. Letting you know what's happening.